So introduce yourself. Um, I'm Cadet Walton. Oh wait, wait, wait. Your rank and everything. <laughs> oh y'all are watching me. I'm Cadet Lieutenant Commander Walton. I'm the CEO of the Drew Hills RTC program. Uh, hello. My name is Vincent Vet. Um, I'm the ex Color Guard Commander, ex PT uh, Commander, ex Justin Commander, ex XO. Um, mm -hmm. I am Lieutenant, like Cadet Lieutenant Hernandez, and this is my last year at Drew Hills High School. I'm a senior, class of 2019. Um, I'm Cadet Wilson. My rank is the Chief. Um, yeah. My name is Adriana Mallet. I'm a senior. Mm. Um, my current rank is an ensign, and I am the admin officer for ROTC. Mm. I am PO1 Cadet Quayos. I was, how do you say it? Staff. I, I mean, uh, supply. Supply officer. Mm -hmm. Supply <coughs> assistant. Yeah. Assistant, assistant supply officer. My name is Cadet Johnson, and my rank is an ensign, and I'm the athletic officer of the staff position. All right, so I'm Cadet Lindsay, and I'm Chief Petty Officer and Chaplain, so that means any issues any cadet has or other staff members, they come to me and talk about it. Um, my name is Terrence Butler. I'm a senior. Uh, my rank right now is currently an ensign. All right, my name is Cadet Shaw. I'm a Chief Petty Officer. How has your past four years of ROTC been? My past four years of ROTC have been We've had some ups and downs, but overall it's been a really good experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made a lot of friends and family. Um, yeah. Um, overall, really good. I've learned a lot of stuff. I met a lot of new people. Mm -hmm. um, just taught me a lot of things about life. It's been very, very impactful. Just like, it's just changed me for the better. Well, I was really excited when I first started ROTC. It was something new that I wanted to try. And it actually turned out pretty good. I learned a lot of things. It was fun doing like drill meets and just like, you know, making new friends and stuff like that. So yeah. My ROTC experience so far has been extremely good. I met all my closest friends in ROTC. I've been in there since Prime example one, <laughs> I'm, I've been ROTC since freshman year. I originally didn't like it, like I did not like ROTC at all, because I just thought that it was just people trying to tell me what to do, but it's not like that at all. It has helped me with my attitude, it has helped me meet new people, so it has just helped me, like, help my whole high school experience in general. Well... I started off in ninth grade, and then I didn't really like the first day because I was scared. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then, so I got out of that class for the semester, and then I came back to the next semester because of my cousin, the other play boss. Mm -hmm. She was like, she was saying that, well, she was talking a lot about ROTC, how she had so much fun doing the um, marching, all mm -hmm. the stuff that she was learning about, and then she was meeting a lot of people and. Me, um, well, I just wanted to be friends with the people she was friends with, yeah. and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go into ROTC. If she can do it, then I can do it too. And then, yeah, I got in, and then like, it was fun, you know. Mm -hmm. Got to meet a lot of people there, and then I didn't really expect to be like anything in there, but you know, things happen, mm -hmm. and it was fun. It was like. A second family. Yeah. I mean, I cannot complain. Matter of fact, I might actually did three years because I joined on my sophomore. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I mean, it's been a lot of dis, a lot of discipline, um, a lot of learning and experience so far as three years went past. Uh, going back to freshman year, when I first stepped foot in here, I was really nervous because I came early for uh, Paris Island, so it was a wake up call for me. And after freshman year, it really it brought something else out of me. So being here for four years has really been a blessing to me because I got to meet new people. I made family here and I also learned a lot from seeing Chief. Mm. He don't really bless me in my life. 
I've been in four years for about, uh, I've been in RTC for about four years, uh, basically since ninth grade. When I first came, it was like, it was new to me because where I'm from, we don't really focus on ROTC. I mean, it's offered at the high school, but it's not focused on. So my mom thought it would be interesting for me to try it. I honestly would recommend ROTC to every incoming freshman, not even if you just want to go to the military, just to ROTC opens up so many, so many other doors and it gives you so many more opportunities than you would have compared to not having ROTC. Um, they take you on college visits, educational trips. You learn more about your history as far as like uh, uh, sea, sea exploration and the different branches, the Navy, Army, um, the Marines, things like that. Um, of course, you're gonna make, you make, gonna make friends in ROTC. You're gonna be with people who you're gonna look at as, as your brother and sister. Uh, most people, everyone in here, everyone in ROTC is, is considered brothers and sisters. We all try to look out for each other. Um, ROTC is very beneficial. Um, ROTC is something that most, not something that colleges would like to see on applications if you fill them out. Um, I definitely recommend ROTC to uh, incoming um, ninth graders because it's it, it'll it'll just make high school even better. You know, some people get tired of like the same old going to going to class every day. I mean, that's just life. I mean, that's just school in general. But ROTC is just like it adds it, it adds a better experience to your high school years. An experience, man. I will never forget the thing that he taught me. My first day, he came in and told me to drop and I was so excited to drop and then all the summertime we went to Paris Island and it was me, Lindsay, Vet, and some other people and we started ROTC like as a trio together and um, we just learned all the ranks and like all the rivers and measurements mm -hmm. and all the chain of command the further we got pre got spot promoted. I got spot promoted up until E4 and then after that it was um had to take tests. Uh, ROTC was a, a, a train, a experience for me because I learned a lot mentally, physically, emotionally. It taught me to be a better person as a young male in society. I always had a passion of going to the military and being the one that served my country. What was your most memorable memory? My most memorable memory? Yeah. Um, I got to think about this. Um, uh, oh what was yours? What was yours? <laughs> uh, a Florida trip. A Florida trip? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Florida trip was really fun. I don't know. Um, I can't pick. There's so many. I just can't. Mm. <laughs> every trip had. Um, every trip was fun. Everything we did together was fun. Even the drill meets when we didn't win anything, they were still fun. Mm -hmm. So every memory is my favorite memory. <laughs> Favorite RTC experience? Um, probably learn how to shop. Shop, okay, yeah. okay. How to shop you. <laughs> My favorite memory is either like the trips that we've had. A specific trip would have to be like the inauguration because that's when I had like Maddie, Melina, Mallet, oh, Adriana, and that's when we started like hanging out with Sandor, even though he was a Trump supporter. But it was a very, very like educational like trip and that um i don't know it's just very like it was a fun trip and like the other one is when uh, we went to kobe steakhouse for the first time all together and we went to party city that's the most fun i've had like with everybody and i think that really like changed everybody's perspective but perspective towards um rotc and how we're not just serious all the time what is your most uh, favorite i think it was more low court yeah, I think it was two years ago. It wasn't the inauguration, it was just another local trip. And I was, and I hang around Coleman Diaz and Hernandez, and it was just really fun. We we stayed in like this um, military base, which was different because we could stay in hotels. And it was just really funny. We had to do like, we had to like, come up with like um, little drill meets, girls with boys. So it was just all around really funny. Um, oh, when we went to Luella, one of the, the drill meets mm -hmm. that's been fun and competing even though we didn't win mm -hmm. but you know the experience was fun mm -hmm. like in general and just 
participating in like junior achievement, like mm -hmm. with the kids, that's fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we went to Virginia because Virginia. we had a lot of fun here. Okay. And met a lot of new friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, but I think the one that stands out the most is our first trip to Florida. Mm -hmm. Uh, because that's where we really like bonded. That's where I really found out who my brothers and stuff were in mm -hmm. this program. Mm -hmm. And of course we had fun, but we really got to know each other a lot more. Uh, my favorite RTC memory, that's a good one. I would probably have to say when we went to Washington for the inauguration. Um, me personally, I'm, I'm originally from Florida, so the most I've been is Florida and Georgia and back and forth. But I've never been like, like out of the, I've never been out the country. I've always been like states. Um, so the first of all, the drive from here to Washington was was so long, and then our bus had came late. Okay, that's another story. But anyway, um, the I would say the inauguration because me personally, I don't have nothing against Trump. I just don't like the way he he carries out his plans. So. Um, I wasn't there specifically just for Trump. It was basically to get an experience of, of what the inauguration was about. Um, it was interesting seeing everybody else in the different points of views, uh, how they thought about what situations were going on. And it was it was overall nice. We went to um, see monuments, we went to Arlington Cemetery. We did, we did a lot. It was a really fun experience. I say my first memory of RTC is we go on trips. Mm -hmm. We travel. It was the best times ever. We went to North Fort. That was amazing. We went to uh, what is the Naval Academy. It was amazing. Our first trip was Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. That was also fun. You know, Sierra Chief was a really fun guy to be around. Him and Colonel all perfect duo together. And I can't imagine anybody else uh, teaching uh, that class the intro to the um, ROTC. So you're graduating with Sierra Chief. So how does that feel? Um. It's really sad that he's leaving and he's not going to be able to stay here with the other cadets. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of glad that I'm graduating, you know, with him or whatever. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <laughs> um, really just thank you. Mm -hmm. We don't get along all the time, but he's taught me a lot of stuff. He's a great person, mm -hmm. great leader. And I'm definitely going to have him talk to me later in the future. It was good. I'm kind of glad because I don't know what I would do if like I had a new instructor. Like, it's just gonna feel weird. Like everybody's already gotten used to the senior chief and how he acts and like how he is as a person. So like this other person, we have to like they're gonna have to like learn how they are and how this person is and how serious this person is. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of sad. You know, it's my last year. We went to and senior chief. But you know, the kids next year wouldn't have the experience, you know, to have senior chief, senior chief teach them. Cause you know, usually when, usually when um the kids, they first day in senior chief class, he make them like drop. I remember that doing that the first time ever, and I was like, what is he doing? Like making us do push ups and stuff like that. And I'm not a big fan of push ups, uh -huh. um, but it's kind of sad cause you know they won't have the experience, you know, for having seeing Chief teach them and stuff like that, so that's gonna be missed out. I'm really, really sad. Senior Chief is definitely like my favorite teacher. Mm. He always gives me good advice. Even though he like gets on us a lot and is really strict, he has the best intention for all of us cadets, mm. and he loves us all the same. So I'm gonna really miss him. With Senior Chief? Yeah. Well, I don't know, I'm sad. I'm gonna cry, I know I'm gonna cry. Mm. And I don't know. Mm. I'm glad, well I'm not in RTC anymore because of, you know. Dual enrollment or crises. Because of, yeah. yeah. But, um, <clears throat> like, I'm glad I got to experience it with him mm -hmm. and not, you know. Um, matter of fact, ma like, matter of fact, it's um, kind of upsetting, but, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy because, because I get to move on. Mm -hmm. How, what? Do better things in life. Mm. Mm. So you're about to graduate with CNC of a class of 2019. So how does that feel? Man, it's it's shocking because I didn't think senior chief would leave when we would graduate. But it's also a little saddening because the other cadets or future cadets who are coming won't be able to experience the love and support we got <coughs> from senior chief. So 
it's really an honor to be graduating and leaving with senior chief. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Knowing that senior chief is gonna be leaving when I'm leaving. Okay, first of all, senior senior chief is like senior chief, and he's like that 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 um that uncle or you know that basically he's that uncle. Senior chief is like one of the coolest one of the coolest teachers I've ever met. Of course, there's going to be some times where he get on your nerves or where he make you, you know, want to lash out. But that's every teacher. That's every adult. Um, I honestly say that Senior Chief is... Senior Chief is... something. I like Senior Chief. It's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. But it's exciting. And Senior Chief always is full of wisdom. You know, he may get on us pretty hard, but he means well and he taught me the value of money and how to live every day and how to understand like how society works and I'm, I'm gonna miss him a lot I ain't gonna lie I'm probably shedding tears mm -hmm. but I, I just want him to know that I appreciate him I have love for him mm -hmm. I expect everything that he has done for the past 23 years and the past four years for me as well oh uh, yes and that is just <laughs> stay disciplined and follow the directions and uh, try to try to be the best leader, <coughs> leader you can be. Uh -huh. And then uh, I'm, I want someone like, to at least take my uh, place and my position. Well, for my future staff members, y'all got this in the bag. You already showing what it's like to be a staff. You know, I know we could have done more, but y'all already showing signs of what a good leader is supposed to be. And I'm proud to have you guys and see you guys to become staff. And to the future cadets, the days where you don't want to do ROTC are the days you need to do it. Because those days will be the ones that make the most impact in your life. You remember those and it'll help you grow into a better person. And it can also help, uh, help you touch other folks' lives. Once they see that you're in a uniform and you're doing something with others, it can really change your life. Mm -hmm. Any advice to uh, any upcoming freshmen or staff members? Um, what are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um advice um i said communication communication is key if y'all can't communicate nothing's gonna happen if something goes wrong in the unit you gotta communicate and tell each other what's wrong what's happening and um if there's events coming up you'll have to be prepared make sure you're prepared make sure everybody comes to practice you know just basic stuff you should know how to do uh, if i can nuke that's just respect your officers mm -hmm. The other cadets that are in charge of you, uh, they earned it, so they know what they're doing. If you disagree with them, you say it politely. Speaking of the in charge of cadets, what about your staff? Any uh, advice for the staff and upcoming stuff? Don't, don't have drama within your staff. Mm -hmm. if you're a family, act like a family. Mm -hmm. Don't be like me and Maddie. <laughs> um, just do better. I feel like we're gonna have the best staff next year because we have Melina and Sandor and they can take everything serious. Me, um, but I feel like they're gonna be doing the most and like making everything, like making everything a very impactful year for those kids, like new cadets, so they can have a better role model and just better trips, basically. <laughs> oh my God, Gigi. I can't believe you're not, you're not, you're gonna leave me alone who i'm gonna say good morning to every morning you know <laughs> who am i gonna be like oh senior chief guess what happened like you know you like, just have the tea to him i can tell tea like tea. senior chief everything he will give me some advice right and now it's like different because me and colonel ain't tight but we're gonna get tight we're gonna get tight but yeah like who i'm gonna say good morning to who i'm gonna tell all my boy drama to like senior chief, come on now you could have always waited one more year just one more year we would have been out of here together Oh, sorry. All right, so. Um, don't slack. Don't slack. Yeah, that's a big thing. Because, like, when you come down, like, closer and closer to, like, when you're about to graduate and stuff, you start slacking and stuff like that. Just stay on top of your game. Because, like, yeah. Uh, I would say, first of all, if you don't like it, you think you don't like it, stick with it. Try it out for at least a semester or a year. I guarantee you, you'll like it. Also, just listen to your your instructors, the officers. They're really trying to help you. They're not trying to boss you around. They're 
they're um, there to support you, you'll you will regret it if you leave. When somebody, when Colonel or Senior Chief, even though Senior Chief's not going to be there, tells you to get down, I say you get down. Shows mm. you how disciplined you are. Mm. Um, my message, I would probably, like, if, okay, if you come into ROTC and somebody is telling you to do something, don't, don't look at it as somebody trying to boss you around or somebody trying to tell you what to do. Just tell them, like, just, just do it. Because you don't never, you never know, like, somebody may be looking at you from to to get information about something else like if someone tells you to come do, do some push-ups and you say no that shows them your character that shows them a lot about you about you but if you you know knock the push-ups out the way do whatever they ask you they see that you can follow directions they may want to put you in a leadership role you're always in rtc one thing you're always being tested everyone is always watching you it's not necessarily so much pressure but you're all you always have eyes on you so you gotta you gotta basically do what you're told Consistency, persistence, dedication, and passion, and organization. We've lacked those in the past for many months now and many couple of years. We could just have a staff where everything could be coordinated well and that everything could be uh, peacefully right, then everything would be a lot more better. What's your final message to seeing Chief and Colonel? <sighs> Y'all are annoying. I'm <laughs> um, Senior Chief and Colonel, y'all have helped me throughout these four years. Um, y'all were like parents to me. Y'all saw me cry. Y'all saw me scream. Y'all saw me uh, pass out mm -hmm. when I didn't want to run. Y'all saw me struggle. But in the end, I love y'all very much because you helped me. Honestly, uh, so together, um, just really just thank you. Mm -hmm. They made the family experience of ROTC. Um, they just took care of the cadets. Colonel, you could be a butt and you could be just extra but you're not as hard as you used to be and i feel like you need to be harder on these other cadets because because <laughs> they gotta learn because these kids on the other side just be watching videos and like not even they didn't even know how to like drill so like i just want everybody to like know how to drill at least the basic things so like i feel like the new command like the new person should know and teach them and um see your chief a good four years with you, man. <laughs> um, you very like you've changed my life. Um, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I've ever, I would never been at ROTC. And um, you just made everything better. Even though you could be extra and you could just just do the most, but like you're just a genuine guy. So yeah. Um, I appreciate everything you know they've done for us. You know, all the trip, all the sacrifices, you know, that they, you know, did for us and stuff like that. And teaching us new things and how to be successful in life and stuff like that. So, yeah. For Colonel, he's a great teacher. Stay strict. Keep on doing your PT. That's what I have to say to Colonel. Senior Chief, um, I just hope that your business continues to be successful. I appreciate everything that you've done for me, and I'm so grateful for you that they are good instructors, yeah. amazing instructors, they're yeah. fun, and I respect them a lot, yeah. I don't know. Um, the senior chief, um, since he uh, retiring him, I want him to do good at what he's doing in the future, so far as his business and stuff, and with Colonel, I want him to uh, keep doing what he's doing so far as teaching. Mm -hmm. Well, let's start things off with Colonel. There's been plenty of days when we got on our butts. And sometimes you can get mad. But I know it's the better everyone. So, my last message to you is I want to thank you for always being there and sticking through through thick and thin with all of us. And when we leave, I am best believe I'll come back to visit you. Mm. And Senior Chief, man, all I can say is this has been a ride with him. Anybody who's here can say that he's really been that fatherly figure that grandfather figure he's that figure that even if you already got one he's just another one to come into your life that really bless you so all i can say is senior chief is much love for you and hope and enjoy your retirement and make your business boom mm -hmm. um senior chief you know been a blast class of you going out with the class of 2019 i like that but i'm gonna be sad that i can't come back up here and see you you know 
That's the sad part. Colonel, 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 Colonel. Colonel, Colonel, Colonel. Colonel is, Colonel, I'm not gonna say, Colonel is interesting also. I like Colonel. Um, Colonel's more of the, the class teacher, like he's gonna teach lessons, he's gonna talk to you about stuff. Seeing Chief more of the, you know, more interactions with students going outside type stuff like that. So my message to Colonel, I would be, I would say thank you. Thank you to Seeing Chief and Colonel. But Colonel, thank you for putting up with some of the stuff that I did in the four years that I've been here. Um, and I thank you, you and CG for sending me both to Leadership Academy in uh, 20, I think that was 2016, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. I thank you guys for being my teachers. Um, I wish you guys the best in everything you do. Um, yes, and it's been real. Oh my God, Colonel, oh man. <laughs> I've had my audience with both of them, but um, to me, they're like, they're, they're like senseis. They taught me so much wisdom, knowledge, passion, and they, I, I, for them, I thank them for teaching me of how to be a male society, because I never had a father figure growing up, but them two are like my father figures. They taught me so well, and they always help me out, and I want to continue to help, I want to continue to help them out, even once I leave this, once I leave this school. What are you planning on doing after high school? Uh, I'm gonna go to college, four-year college, Valdosta State. Hopefully with Hernandez and Mallet. Yeah. I'm going to college to study from the mm -hmm. okay. well, I'm going to ESU, Valdosta State. Hopefully with my with the CEO next door, Hernandez and Walton. We'll mm -hmm. see. And I just hope that I'm successful. I'm going to college. College. Four years. And then after that, and then start business. Um, I currently got accepted. I got accepted into Morehouse College, so I'm going to be going to Morehouse in the fall. We start August 15th. I'm going to be majoring C Tim's, which is like uh, communications, media, things like that. Um, after I'm going to try and get into the RTC program at Morehouse College to try to get on the um, RTC scholarship, so I can go into the Navy or whatever branch that I want to go in. Um, I plan on going to the military, serving my, my years, however many years I do decide to serve, getting out and then, you know, just basically getting a job because with military background, any job will hire you. So I, I kind of have everything already planned out, but it's, you got, at this point, you just got to take it day by day. It's nothing you can do, just but do it day by day. Well, I plan on going to college to become a cardiovascular surgeon. And I'm a photographer. I want to have a photography business. But also, I still want to go to the military because Sierra Chief and Colonel helped me understand the passion that I have for it. So I'm going to try to go into the Air Force and help get out of undergrad school. All right. Okay, I'm going to ask you to get up and walk away now. Huh? Get up and walk away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you to get up and walk off now? Thank you. Get up and walk off. All right, and that's it. So just get up and walk off. Wait. Hey. And all right. Uh, now I just ask you to get off the bench and walk off. You want me to get off? Yeah, just get off the bench and walk. You want me to take the phone? Yeah, not just go. Just okay. get off, man. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, can I ask you to get up and walk away? Sure. <laughs> get up and walk away? Yeah. Hold up. I thought you were supposed to ask me. All right, can I ask you to get up and walk away? All right, now we're done. So you can get up and walk away, please. <laughs>